Hey guys, I'm Holly and welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new, hi. How's it going? Um, so, I decided today that I wanted to create a tag video. And I have not seen a new tag video in the beauty community be created in a very long time. I know I have a small channel, um, but that is okay. Um, so, this is going to be the one makeup bag tag. I am really interested to know if you could only have one makeup bag, don't care what size it is, that part doesn't matter. If you want to challenge yourself to do one small makeup bag, a medium sized one, a really big one, whatever works for you, um, what would you have in it? Um, and I think what, what this does, um, it, it doesn't necessarily make you choose your absolute favorite products because some of your absolute favorite products may not fit in one makeup bag. What I think it does is really boils down what is your signature makeup style. That's kind of what it ends up encapsulating because if you could only have one bag, you would want that bag to contain the type of makeup that you feel your absolute best in. No matter what you're doing, what the day is, got going on it's going to be stuff that you know always looks good always makes you feel good always works tried and true products like I said not necessarily favorites because a favorite doesn't have to be a workhorse product a favorite doesn't have to be a, a small thing either a favorite could be something that you love staring at because it's so beautiful a favor could be something you never use because you don't want to run out of it. Uh, what a favorite is to somebody is so subjective. You know what I mean? Um, so really, this is just like, if you can only have one makeup bag, like what are your tried and true workhorse products that you know are going to get you the types of looks that you want at any given point? So I took this very seriously. Um, I have tried to film this several times, once even yesterday. Um, by the way, I did the exact same look yesterday with different products that I would not be able to fit in this makeup bag, that I wouldn't be able to put in here, um, and I thought it was interesting to try to create the exact same look that I wore yesterday with products out of this bag, and I did. I know you don't know that because you can't see the makeup I wore yesterday, but it, it's identical. Um, and I was able to create it with stuff that is totally different that is in this makeup bag. Um, so I know that I did, I know I did what I was setting out to do when I created this in my head. Um, I'm going to do my very best because the whole reason I've had to film this several times. Yesterday, it was just really obvious that I was like really low energy. And if you guys are used to watching my videos at all, you know that I am, I don't lack energy in my videos and it was just so obvious and I felt really bad. Um, so I was going to film it again today. Um, but every time I try to film it, it ends up being like a 50 minute long video and I'm going to do my absolute best to just show you the products. I have a really bad habit of feeling like I need to explain the what, where, why, and when of every single thing I talk about on my channel, and usually that would be fine. Um, I could make a 30 minute video, but like 45 or 50 minutes just to show you products that are having a makeup bag seems a little bit much. What I'm going to do though, is challenge myself to only use this makeup bag for the next two weeks. This is also going to technically be a shop my stash, um, because I think it would be interesting. Plus I started a new job. So it's going to be really helpful for me um, to have all my makeup just kind of ready to go in the mornings whenever I have to go to work now. Um, and that also means that I'm going to have to start pre-filming and actually scheduling my videos, which I'm not looking forward to because I kind of like that my channel has been impromptu since I started making videos again. But hey ho, I started a new job. Woo woo, woo woo. All right, let's get let's get to it. I'm going to try so hard not to explain everything. Um, so this is my makeup bag. This is actually the bag that I use um, when I go do weddings. And I have done upwards of seven to eight people's makeup out of this makeup bag. 
Um, so I am one person and it is still jam packed full in here because truthfully, if I only had one makeup bag, I'd still have a lot of makeup. I would still try to stretch the space as much as possible to fit as much as I possibly could. Um, but I kept true to the challenge. Everything is in here. Everything has a purpose. Everything is something that makes me feel totally confident, makes me feel really good, encapsulates my makeup style in particular. Um, and I'm excited to do this. So this bag has one compartment at the bottom, a zipper compartment here, and this section is usually to hold makeup brushes but I put any like stick type product in there. So I'm gonna start with the zipper compartment. Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I have room for one and this is the one I would choose. As far as um, foundations, primers, concealers, um, I was very particular in choosing all of this. The primer currently um, would be Cover FX Water Cloud Primer. Love this stuff. And then as far as foundations, I would need one full coverage. That would be the Mac Studio Fix Fluid. I would need one foundation that looks good at all times and lasts all day for work. Um, that's not too heavy. That's not too matte. That's not too glowy. That would be the Estee Lauder Hydra Rescue Foundation. And then one that I could slap on with my hands if I'm feeling extra lazy. This is the one I have on today. And this is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Absolutely a tried and true product. I love it. Could not be without it. And then there are four concealers, all of which also serve a purpose. This is what I would call my blemish concealer. The one I have currently is MAC Studio Fix. I would do the NARS, this one, like the NARS Soft Matte. I would do this one. I would do the potted ones from NYX. Whatever. As long as I had a blemish concealer. A lightweight under eye. This is the Neutrogena Radiant Cream. It's an exact dupe to the NARS. Um, by the way, if you are a NARS person, I highly recommend trying this one. Then an under eye brightener. This is the YSL Touche Cla. My absolute favorite is the MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose, but that color seems to not be on their website anymore and I don't know what's going on with that, but I do really like this one as well. And then a full coverage concealer. This is the uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear. These, these two right here, this is what I would wear to work every single day. Every day. If I had to work an 8 to 12 hour shift, this would be it. Alright, now I'll show you what's in my little pockets for brushes. I cannot express to you how hard it already is for me to not explain to you every single eye look that I have in my head that I have done with all of these products, but I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best. Okay, so the first one is a discontinued cream eyeshadow, unfortunately. Oh, by the way, these are five cream eyeshadows that were in the first little section. Um, the first one is Elf Metallic Mocha. And it is, it is a beautiful, ready, blackened bronze. I don't know why this color was discontinued. It drives me mad. The second one is Laura Mercier Intense Amethyst. It is just amethyst with a ton of sparkle in it. Then I have Laura Mercier Metallic Taupe, which isn't discontinued yet, but apparently this is a limited edition color. I have already gotten a backup of it. It is on the way to me. There is no way that I would want to be without this, um, especially because I only have the little baby size. Um, then this is Lancome uh, Hypnostilo in Platine. It's a really pretty sparkly taupe. And then this one is one by NARS that I cannot pronounce the name of. Everything I talk about will be in the description box, by the way. Um, this is, like I said, a NARS Velvet Cream Eyeshadow, um, and it is a more bronzy taupe color, and this is what is a base on my eyelids today. Um, I wore this yesterday with Satin Taupe by MAC over it, um, and that is one of 
I think that's like the best taupe eyeshadow that exists, honestly. Um, and ideally, I would just keep my MAC single eyeshadow collection because I have so many, but they wouldn't fit in this makeup bag, so we can't do that. All right, lip liners. Again, there is a particular reason for each one. This is a mauve lip liner. This is NARS Cap Deal. These are two KKW lip liners, both in a nude shade. One is shade Nude 1. This one is shade 0.5. One is a cool, darker tone. One is a light, peachy tone. Then this really bright, vivid pink lip liner. Um, this is a Lancome lip liner called Lancome Rose. And this is a Bare Minerals lip liner in the shade Graphic. And I don't know if you can see that, but it is a really dark, vampy, sort of berry wine color. Um, I don't do bright reds. I, I think in my entire collection I have three bright red lipsticks, and I never wear them. I just don't. Uh, my red is a berry wine. That is what makes me feel confident if I want to do a really glam look. I go dark instead of bright. If I want to do a really, I don't know, intense out there lip look, I do a really bright vivid pink. That's just my comfort zone that encapsulates my makeup style. And then in the third little pocket, I have MAC Fling Brow Gel, MAC Fling Brow Pencil, my MAC, <laughs> um, eyeshadow primer and my MAC uh, brush stroke eyeliner. It's like a, it's a, it's a brush tip black eyeliner. And then I have MAC Black Track Fluid Line for a gel liner. I use both this one and MAC Black Track every single day and these brow products and that primer. Anything that I can get from MAC um, that is something I know that I will continuously go through that works for me. I choose that because when I finish it, that's one more product that is close to getting me free stuff. And I really like their products, so it's like a two-in-one. All right, and then pencil liners is in the, the last little section. I have a black pencil liner. Where these come from don't really matter. It is the colors. So there's a black pencil liner. There is a brown pencil liner, a nude pencil liner, and a smoky gray. And then we have a double ended eyeliner that has a blue and a really pretty metallic taupe. I have this one on my waterline today. And then a really bright green. And ideally, unfortunately, I don't have it right now, MAC Prunella or any really deep dark violet purple eyeliner would also be in here. The only purple eyeliner I have is more like an eggplant color, and that is not ideal for this makeup bag. All right, let's do cheek stuff, because how my cheeks look is very important to me, but the way that I get my cheek looks is a lot of products. On a normal basis, it is a ton of products. So I really had to narrow it down and I had to choose things that would give me that look without me having to use five different cheek products. Okay. Um, so we'll start. Oh, and I forgot this one thing. This is the only setting powder that I would ever need. It's the only one that I really want. And it's the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. It's amazing. All right. Cream bronzer. Normally I would choose the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel, but that would take up too much space. So instead I chose the Milk Baked Bronzer. I love this because it's a neutral undertone. It's still one ounce of product. It's half the price and half the size. I chose two powder bronzers. One is a warm tone for fall, or I'm sorry, summer and spring. One is a neutral tone for winter and fall. Um, both are glowy bronzers because that is what I prefer. I like having matte bronzers, but I wasn't going to pick a third one and I would much rather have two glowy ones. So this is Hourglass Nude Bronze Light and this is Tom Ford Gold Dust. This is the one I have on today over baked um, from Milk. Let's 
far as highlighting my cheeks. If you guys watch any of my makeup of the day videos, you know that like highlighting my cheek bones is not really the thing I'm into right now. But if I only had one makeup bag, um, I would still want that option. Um, so Hefty Highlight from Clinique in the Chubby Stick literally is the only cream highlight I could care less to own. Why I own so many, I don't really know. I like the ones I own, but this one's my favorite one. I've already used up an entire tube of this, and now I have my second one going. And then the only highlight for my cheekbones that I would really ever care to have if I only had one makeup bag would be Becca Rose Quartz. And that sucks because Becca is going out of business. But thank God I have a backup of this. And I also have 20 other highlighters that I like, but none do I like as much as I like this one. And then, as far as blush goes, I picked three nude sticks blushes that are cream. That way I can use these as a base. Um, ideally, there would be one more here. I really want Bareback, which is a really pale, beigey nude. Um, it's like a cool toned nude. Um, and then I have Sunkissed, which is more of a warm toned nude. Poppy Girl, which I like that I have in a smaller size because it's not a color I use often, but I still want to have that option. And then this one is Cherry Blossom Babe. My cat likes to be the star of the show at all times, at any given time. I'm so sorry. Um, Cherry Blossom Babe is what I have underneath the blush that I have on today. Leo, honey, can you please be quiet while mommy films? I know you're a cat, but if you could just, or not. Okay. So to get my glowy cheek, instead of picking five different products to do that with, I remembered that I have this. And it is so blindy, but this is the Hourglass Ghost Light Blush Palette. It has glowy blushes in every tone that I could possibly need. In fact, if I had a small makeup collection, this would have been one of my best purchases I ever made. But because I have a really big collection, it was a dumb purchase. <laughs> I love this though. I love this. Um, it has a bubblegum pink, a coral, a mauve, and a nude. And today I mixed the bubblegum pink and the mauve over Cherry Blossom Babe. And then I used both of my highlighters um, to get to the look that I usually go for. This is perfect. And I would absolutely need one matte nude blush. And I have several matte nude blushes, but this is my tried and true. Um, if I could only have one in order to not take up too much space in this bag, it would be Estee Lauder Seductive Rose. And I like this one because it has a little bit of a pinky undertone, so it just suits my skin tone all the time with any eye look. Whereas my other nude blushes can sometimes pull a little too warm, and I have to use it with specific eye looks. And then, since I already showed you the lip liners, I'll show you the lipsticks that I chose. And it's quite a handful. It really is. Um, but. They're all perfect. All of them are perfect. This one might be kind of weird, but this is a L'Oreal lipstick from the Karl Lagerfeld collection, which has been very much discontinued. I think I got this during quarantine. It's in the shade Cultured. And it is a cream lipstick in a pinky nude shade, um, but it is in between the light nude and the darker nude that I chose. The darker nude is what I have on right now. This is NARS Anita. It is also a matte. And then the lighter nude that I chose is somewhere. Okay, of course it would be the last one I pick up. It is MAC Angel. Clearly a favorite. So all of my nudes are covered. All of those bases are covered, and now you'll understand why I have the two nude lip liners, a lighter one and a darker one. And then I would absolutely need a mauve in my life to go with the mauve lip liner. This is NARS Anna, and clearly 
I love this lipstick. Clearly this deserves a spot in this makeup bag, without a doubt. As for um, a bright pink, well, more like a nudie pink, this is Max Snob. I never ever feel like this doesn't look good. Anytime I put it on, I feel 100% confident in, in wearing that color. And then a bright, vivid pink for a more bold lip look. Um, this is Clinique Graffiti Pop. And this is what matches that Lancome lip liner. And I love this, especially during summer. But sometimes I even wear it in like fall and winter, I think, because it's like a deeper pink. It looks really good either way. And I could not choose which of these two berry toned lipsticks that I would want. Um, so I had room. I put them both in here because I love them both equally. One is MAC D for Danger. It is a more red berry. And then this one is Lancome Berry Noir and it is a more purple toned berry. It's a little bit darker. Um, so I get two different lip looks out of these. The lip liner I chose suits both of them. Um, and I really like, they are both my absolute favorite berry tones. There's no way I could have chosen between the two. And then lip glosses, there are only three. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Moon. It is an exact dupe to Fenty Fussy. Then I have two lip plumping lip gloss because if I'm going to have lip gloss, I prefer it to make my lips look bigger and what better way to do that than with plumping glosses. This one is Buxom White Russian. This goes well over any nude lipstick I have. And then this one is um, Elf Sparkling Rose. This looks amazing over Mac Snob and Mac Angel. And both of those look great by themselves as well. All right, now we're gonna get into the last and it is eyeshadows. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you the last of the cream shadows that I chose. This is MAC Vintage Selection. It's like a mauve champagne. And I love this for so many different eyeshadows that I have in here. I have Tom Ford Opal. And Tom Ford Platinum. You're going to notice that as we get into eyeshadows, Tom Ford is my choice. Because if I only had one makeup bag... They are great workhorse products and the luxurious experience makes my makeup bag even more beautiful when I open it. That is also kind of important to me. Then we'll get into eye toppers. Um, so these are two Tom Ford duos. One is in Naked Bronze and one is in Fleur Neige. They both have a cream eyeshadow and a topper shade. Um, Naked Bronze has a beautiful coppery bronze eyeshadow with a golden topper color. And Fleur Neige has a cool toned gray taupe, um, like a slate gray taupe cream shadow with a silvery white eyeshadow topper. I love that I can use these with other eyeshadows or by themselves to get a really quick glam look. And then we have Hourglass Ray. Um... Hourglass Smoke. I also own Hourglass Reflect, but instead of picking that, I chose Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow in Space Cowboy. This looks amazing over Platinum. And since we're here, we'll go ahead and do the singles I chose. So there are, are a handful of single eyeshadows that I could not get in the quads that I picked out. Um, they were just kind of missing in the huge variety of neutrals or colorful eyeshadows. The first one being MAC un Uninterrupted. I was absolutely missing this like rusty yellow brown. Um, I think this color is very important. If I only had one makeup bag, there are so many looks that I do that require a color like that. I have a Charlotte Tilbury palette that has a color like that. The Soft Glam palette has rustic. I have a couple makeup geek shadows that look like that, a, color, a couple of color pop shadows that look like that, and I cannot tell you the amount of eye looks that I have created that I need a color like that, um, and they just didn't exist in the palettes I chose. Um, and then as far as bright colors, there are four 
colorful shadows that I just didn't have in a quad. Um, so I made one. Is this not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? If I'm going to do a colorful eye look, I literally have my bases covered with these because my favorite eye looks to do are something with a cobalt blue. This is Mac Atlantic blue, a chartreuse green. I love chartreuse green on brown eyes. All of these bright colors suit my eye color. They really make my eye color pop, which is why I like them so much. Um, this is Ardencian Orchid, but the reason I put it in here is because I have talked your ear off for years. If you have followed even my old YouTube channel, you know how much I love Urban Decay Fishnet, and this is an exact dupe of it. And then of course, what makeup bag would be complete without something like MAC Club? You could do Urban Decay Lounge, you could do... I mean, there's, there's so many colors that look like this, but I love that I had one in a single to make this quad. And all of these colors look good together as well. And then there were two, two NARS singles that I just really needed in here for certain looks that I do. The first one um, is NARS Earth Shine. So the Natasha Denona Star Palette is one of my absolute favorite palettes that exists. Um, but that palette would not fit in any makeup bag I owned. And there's a specific pink blue duochrome eyeshadow in that palette that I would absolutely want in a single and NARS Earthshine does that for me. And then this right here is NARS Stud. And this is just a color that I like would hate to not have in my collection. Not only do I have this in a single, but I also have this exact same color in a NARS palette as well. And I wouldn't trade them. I just wouldn't trade them. I love them both. And then you might notice, I'm sorry, I have a cat hair stuck in my foundation. This always happens. You might notice that I don't have my brow powders that I usually use in here, and that is because I put this. This is the Busy Art Neutral Mattes Palette. It has any neutral matte that I could possibly want except for that yellowy brown, which is why I chose the single. But if I mix these two shadows together, it makes my perfect brow color. Perfect brow color. It's so good. And last but not least, I chose five Tom Ford quads. Yep, because any smoky look, any daytime look, whatever, I can get them out of these and all of the cream shadows and topper shades that I chose. This is my absolute favorite. I have hit pan on it. This is Coco Mirage. I have this color in my crease today. I'm sorry that my lighting sucks and I keep blinding you. This is Orchid Haze. It gives me those mauve -y tones that I really like on my eye color. And this color right here, I actually had MAC Floof in this bag for my inner corner, um, but this color is exactly the same, so I was able to actually take that out. This one right here is my go-to black smoky eye quad, period. In my entire collection, if I wanna do a black smoky eye, this is what I go to. This is titanium smoke. I could not imagine having a makeup bag without this, even if I only used it for New Year's, because I do every year. This one right here is Seductive Rose. It gives me more of these purpley tones. This looks really good over the Caviar Stick and Intense Amethyst. And last but not least, the most necessary one, is new dip. Um, so I am wearing the taupey color along with the dark crease color from the Coco Mirage palette uh, on my eyes today and I actually do have MAC floof on um, but then I realized that I could have used that color out of this uh, Orchid Haze palette. So that is everything if I could only have one makeup bag. I really want to see you guys do this video. Please do this video. Let me know that you did it in the comments or just comment. I don't care if it's a long list. Tell me all of the products that you would have in one makeup bag if you could only have one. All right, that's going to be it for today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!